Hey guys, what's up people? Um, what's going on guys? It's me Giver. Welcome back to another video. And on this video, we're going to react to the unveiling of PlayStation 5. So it's actually 5.30, 3 a.m. here in the Philippines, June 12, a happy Independence Day. But for the other country, it is June 11. So basically, it was live stream an hour ago, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to react. We're going to watch the part where they actually unveil the PS5. I haven't seen it because I record I recorded another video for this. So without further ado, Welcome to PlayStation 5. It's come a long way, guys. It's come a long way. I think this is the part for the sense, dual sense, the controller. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's kind of um, unsettling seeing that, but this is PS5, so. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait. That's really kind of kind of unsettling. Okay, so the build up is good. <laughs> oh god, I'm I don't know what to say. Okay. Oh, very nice transition. Oh, I thought it's like I thought it's kind of like you know stage unveiling, but wow, wow, that's so slick and sexy. But oh boy, that's gorgeous. Okay, it has USB-C. I think that's USB-C. No, oh, they, they powdered coated. So we will be getting a powder coated um, PS5. Unlike PS4 that we got the powder coated one around second gen. You know, it's... Oh, damn. I hope they will place the price. What's the price? Oh, okay. I think there's no pricing point at this time. But that looks good. Okay, we have more apparently. Look at all those vents. Whoa, there's a slim? Oh, 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 wow. Okay, um, let's rewind a little bit. Is this the one? Yeah, okay. I'm very sorry, guys, if I'm going to cut you guys off, but as I am so shocked to see this. Okay, so the first one is so sexy. Okay. Never mind, I'm going to watch it. Wow. Wireless. But you still need... Will it be free? That's the question. I don't think it will be. Oh wait, they have the camera also. Media remote? Are we sensing some Xbox vibes here? Wow. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. Wow. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we, we believe more... in generational transitions. And okay. we put years of There's this only few keynotes or few key points that I want to reiterate, like um the first one would be this, on this one. Okay. On this part, okay, when they actually 
made us see the full view. At first, I thought that that looks curved when they unveil it somewhat, that style. And it is curved. Like, it's a sexy figure if you're gonna look about it, think about it, and see about it, or look at it. It's a sexy figure. It doesn't have the boxy concept that we all love. love. It's more like a combination of PS2 and PS3. You know, that boxy form but that has curves compared to the PS4 that it's so boxy. Like, it's a square thing, rectangle, like edges to edges. And for this, it's more like an alien inspired for me because of the shape. It doesn't have a definite shape. You can say that it's an Arglas shape, but you can see that it also has the uh, diamond shape. So for me, it's an a alien wear inspired. For me, that's for me. And look at and look at all the vents that we have. Yeah, compared to Xbox One that has a full blow full blown vent upward, we have. A lot, we have a lot of ventilation going from the side, which is typical PlayStation, like say, trademark. But my main KOA on this is like, if we have this much vent, would it be even harder to maintain it? Because more vents means more air cooling, means more dust that can be sucked inside or can be can go through inside the system. So. We actually don't know if they have some sort of newer filtration that they did to filter those dirt. So I'm excited to see how it will work on the real life because PS4 collects dust so much compared to other consoles. So that's my main takeaway. But in terms of cooling, I don't think that we will be hearing loud noises compared to the last generation. Maybe because it still has the Blu-ray slot or this drive so ah, i'm so excited but the thing is they haven't unveiled the price um last note would be this one here so we can see that there's two version of ps4 i thought this will be like one terabyte version or pro version but it's not it's a digital version meaning that all your games will be downloaded in the internet you won't be having the need to buy physical game copies and insert it to the mouth of the PS5 but the takeaway on that is basically you don't own it you don't own any game because you know owning a game with in a physical form factor is quite satisfying than on a digital one but it might be on the pers personal preference level but for me I'd rather have the one that has the disk drive rather than the, the digital one because you can still download digital games in my opinion, even though you have the base base model of PS5, which is the with the one with the digital um, drive. But my main concern is, did they design the PS5 on a digital edition first or the one that has a disc drive? Because as you can see here, the digital edition of the PS5 is more symmetrical than the one that has a disk drive so in my opinion they said that okay let's just put a disk drive over here then they just slapped it on the side because it kind it did ruin the symmetrical or the design itself but at the end of the day i'm not so sure if this is the final product they might change it I, i'm not so sure maybe this is the final one but i do think that they designed it for a digital edition perspective first then moving towards the one that has a digital oh no, that has the disk drive so either way i hope that there will be a price difference on this maybe the digital edition is cheaper and the the one that has a disk drive is a little bit expensive but i hope there will be a price difference because as I can see, you'll be removing a part on the digital version, which should reduce the cost. So yeah, um, final thoughts. I'm excited for the PS5. Um, I'm not so sure if I'm going to buy it this year when it when it released. Maybe the next year because I always wait for Generation 2 
because we all know for a fact that Generation 1 always have problems but I hope this Generation 1 of PS5 won't have that much and I just noticed something um, th does the button over here is the eject button for the disc so because as you can see this might be the signal one and this might be the eject one because on the digital edition there isn't another like button there so yeah um anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do press thumbs up and consider yourself subscribing for more reaction videos like this and you can watch my latest reaction video from twice over here and i hope to see you guys next time this is me guyver signing out peace